Well, Sarah, Ben, discussions revolved around the money and morality of this proposed PGA Live merger, but also the future of sports as a whole. Blumenthal calling this move sports washing, but the PGA arguing they were between a rock and a hard place and picked the lesser of two evils. This hearing and our investigation is ultimately not about golf. We're here because we're concerned about the PGA Tour's deal in terms of what it means for an authoritarian government to use its wealth to capture American institutions. Tuesday, Blumenthal chaired the Senate's Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations hearing into the proposed merger between the PGA Tour and Live Golf. There is something that stinks about this path that you're on right now. Blumenthal calls the PGA's planned agreement with the Saudi Arabian government's public investment fund a surrender, but the tour's executives argue it was their best option to preserve the PGA's leadership. We didn't decide one day we'll go over to Riyadh and, and bring these guys in here. We would still face the threat of a $700 billion fund recruiting our players and operating a league in an irrational economic manner. Some senators sympathetic to this point Tuesday. I think they're, you know, their motivations are pure. They're trying to preserve this game. They're, they're trying to do right by their players. They're trying to do right by this country. But many, like 9-11 Families United, outraged by the PGA's proposal, calling it a complete betrayal. As a 9-11 widow, I'm upset. As a patriot, I'm upset to let the kingdom come do this to a time-honored sport. And yes, as a fan of golf, I'm very upset. Some Republicans, though, questioning the need for Tuesday's hearing. Senator Rand Paul saying there's no legitimate concern to berate private individuals over business contracts. We're not addressing the valid things because we have a show trial basically of a private organization, which I think is inappropriate. And notably missing from today's hearing, anyone from Live Golf or the Saudi Public Investment Fund. Blumenthal says they have reached out to Live Leadership and are planning to schedule another hearing with them in the future. He concluded today's hearing by saying it was constructive, but there's still a long way to go. Sarah, Ben.